Oh yeah, it's a wee bit wetty. What's going on guys? How are you doing? Filming on the, the GoPro right now is why I'm kind of yelling at you because this thing sucks. All right, now with that being said, we're scouting the area. No, just kidding. I can't take it serious. <laughs> Heading out to the Urban Stealth Shelter. It's, supposed to, it's been raining all day. Um, it's about one o'clock right now. Uh, filming on the GoPro, of course. This thing sucks. You have to scream at it all the time because the audio is just trash. And yeah. Backpack's full of weight. Can you guess what's in it? Yeah, brewskis. <laughs> Brewski, some dinner. Um, let's come out, listen to the raindrops fall on the tarp, see where it's leaking and stuff. Haven't got to be out here during some rain. So, yeah, I'm gonna take it around out here and have a good time. Maybe spit a few good rhymes and lines and uh, Mickey's it up. <laughs> My buddy said he might come down here later. He said he's gonna float the creek down, <laughs> possibly. So that might be interesting. All right, we are. Uh... Oh, oh, about fell over. We are at camp. Hello. 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 Hello? Alright. I'm gonna get in here and get the other camera set up. Because I hate you. I hate this camera. It sucks. Yes, and I do have a poncho to cover me from the wet stuff. So those of you who are gonna cry in the comments, nobody wants to hear that shit. I can't prepare to know what I'm doing most of the time. So leave me alone. Alright, now that we're inside, I can see there is uh, quite a few spots. The water's getting in, of course, by the stove jack, because uh, there's a hole for the stove jack to go out. Um, and I got over in this corner, it seems to be leaking down and hitting here, and it splashed all over where I was sleeping, would be sleeping. So I do have a little bit of plastic still here that I'm going to get up there and... Uh, make sure I patch that before the night goes on because it's supposed to rain all freaking night and then uh, snow tomorrow night but next time I come out here I'm definitely gonna bring some more tie back I'm gonna tie back this whole roof uh, from the outside because that that tie back is strong it's not gonna puncture easy like this plastic is from a tiny spot so yippee skippy but that's why you got to get out here and check this stuff yeah, I got some Mickeys up here. Yeehaw, we're locked and loaded, ready to go. Um, kind of going to do a... Uh, sorry, there's a train over here. I can't move it. But, uh, like one of them uh, aluminum foil skillet mill things again. I'm just going to throw it on top. I got some steak, peppers, uh, onion. What else did I grab? Mushrooms, seasoning, and a potato. Wing thing, chicken wing that thing together. You know, just hang out, have a good time, and uh, pick apart the fort, and possibly do a little uh, uh, table over here. We'll see how it plays out, but first things first, I'm going to get that patched. Uh, yeah. Yipper. Alright, come on, you stupid GoPro. Let's go out and do some work. It's the only cool feature about this thing is it's waterproof. I'm just kidding, there's more features that are pretty nice, but I just don't tend to give a crap about them. I'm going to have to pull all these sticks down so I can get up there. I just threw them up there as to like disguise it, so don't judge me as whatever. Nobody wants to hear that shit either. Now I'm going to get all wet. I do have a poncho. Maybe that's the time to use the poncho is now. All right. All right, now let's go wander the forest looking like a goddamn Brussels sprout.
I'll be able to cover half of this thing again. Nothing. Actually, I gotta put some more logs up there. What a joy! All right, now that we're a nice little muddy mess, got everything put back up out there. But that tarp covered where the heck is it? It's right here. It's half of it, and that'll all heat up. I have some along the sides, but I think that's from it running down the trees and then trying to come under because I don't see any on the inside here. I do on that back wall. But once I uh, go over again with the tie back, let's take our haircut friggin' tarp off. Ah, of course I just wipe mud all up there. Let's throw it there anyway. Well, at least the majority of the work is done. I came out here the other day, stacked all the wood, but I'm not gonna fire up, uh, not gonna fire up the fire yet, because that's just enough to get me through the night, dinner, and then through the night. Um, if worse comes to worse, then I'll chop some in the rain. But it's supposed to continue raining, kind of a dead spot right now. So, uh, shall we? <laughs> Why not? They're all shook up. I carried carried a 12 pack in. <laughs> I usually only bring a six, or I carried a 12 because I thought my buddy's. I think my buddy's still gonna come out. So we'll see what happens. We're just winging it, having a good time. Um, seeing how she holds. Trial and error. That's why you got to get out here and test it. You know, do all that stuff and uh, shut up and drink. I don't want to hear you talk. I want to see you sass that beer, buddy. All right, cheers. Nam nums. Breakfast for champions. She DJ. She spins me around. Maybe that's what it is. She spins me. I don't know. She spins me around. She runs me in circles. Life with her sucks doing wheelies. <laughs> I don't know. Tell me what you think. Alright, you ready for this? Ka-ching! <laughs> Off an old E-Swing axe I have. I uh, just sitting in storage pretty much down the basement. I used it on my old hatchet as well, but it fits perfect for the battle spatula. <laughs> Pretty cool. I got another mod for this thing coming up soon. I did what you guys said and uh, offset the teeth a little bit. So maybe it'll saw now. Haven't tested it yet. Um, on this side, through these slits, I'm going to put like two pieces of metal on the side, like some steel, to make it heavier and grind those down so hopefully I can split with it too hopefully it's not gonna be too heavy and snap the handle or anything but it's all trial and error I'll keep you guys updated with that uh, when I get around to that but I think that's gonna be pretty cool if this thing can cut and split and I think it'd be a cool little invention and then if I see it on CVC or CVS or whatever the heck that uh, television shopping show is Someone's getting their ass kicked. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, let's test this saw out. It's just a twig, but. Oh, she still needs some fine tuning. I think I need to take a file to the sides. But it's getting there. 
had to turn the light on because it's dark in here of course or maybe I could just uh, bend them back a little bit so they're not so far but I mean come on it's a spatula oh, this thing's due for a little loving got a lot of ash in there Spatula to use. Maybe I could. <laughs> I'm just gonna throw it along the side. It'll soak up some of the water. Multi-purpose spatula, guys. Come on, you know you want one. Actually, I should be dumping this around that front door because it's muddier than heck out there. I think that's what I'm going to do. Alright. I got that thing cleaned up pretty good. Now we got a nice patio out here. <laughs> kind of stopped. For now. Let's go check out this creek. I want to see uh, how high the water has gotten. It's up a little bit. Not too shabby, but it is up a bit. Want a little zoom action as far as this little... Oh, wrong way. Oh, oh, just kidding. About as far as this lens will go. Come on, drip. <laughs> Camp looks pretty cool, all wet. Pretty neat. Look at that tender bunder friggin' shelter. <laughs> oh, jeez. Right. I'm gonna go ahead and get a small base down. Oh, that's kind of moist. I just need something to hold it. Because this thing's obviously got a grate in it. Anything I put in it can fall through it. And, uh, I'm gonna get it prepped and ready to go for dinner tonight. So that way, all I gotta do is just fire it up and let her take off. I got some little bit of fat wood that I left here and a little bit of pine. Just gonna go like so. And I'll pick these up. And these will take off real easy. I might not even have to use the fat wood. This is just eastern pine. Completely dry. Obviously. Something like that. Throw some of them bad boys on there. And it should take off fairly easy once it's ready to go. Check it out. I made a dreidel. <laughs> wow, what a great dreidel that is. Alright, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to throw together kind of like a little table slash bench over here. That thing's all haggard, but it's still pretty strong. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. Something simple. Nothing too crazy. Just a nice little end table. Let's do that. It's 
knock some of the edges off so we can dig in the ground a little bit. Not too shabby. And that one's gonna have to. I'm actually gonna find a different one because that thing's charbroiled. Well, the rain is picking back up. You can hear the freeway pretty loud today. But coming together, I've just got some jute twine that I'm tying everything down, just uh, getting everything in place. And then I'm going to cinch everything completely down with this uh, like poly cord. So, yeah, coming along. Saving you guys the agony because I'm having a hard time whipping things around. Because it's tedious, tiny little things that drive you crazy. Whole piece of pine I had laying next to the shed here. Next to the shed. He called his Ford a shed. <laughs> oh gosh. Ah. Well, I'm gonna use this to try to, cause she's kind of wibbly wobbly right now. I'm not gonna show it to you yet, because she needs some loving. And I want to show you a good final product that'll hold my ever really growing belly. You know, don't blame it on the Mickey's either. Maybe McDonald's. Look at that hideous thing. <laughs> it's coming though. This is going to be the last piece I'm going to put up top. Just try to knock down some of the cornhole cramers. Still coming down pretty good out there. Not like pouring, of course, but. Never thought I'd be hanging out in the woods carving sticks with a spatula. <laughs> but why not? Who cares? So maybe I'll get sponsored by a uh, charbroiled or. <laughs> oh, God. That's funny. I don't care who you are. That's funny. Man, this thing's doing a good job shaving, I mean. Not bad. You hear that squeaking? It's that mouse. Back there talking crap. Whatever. She is a little. Ooh, that's a little too wobbly right there. That's not even that tight. I might have to take some more twine and tighten that out, but I'm not gonna stick right there. Well, let's give it a shot. Definitely need some loving on this side. It's wobbly. This side's pretty. Good. Definitely gonna have to go back through and tighten it up with some more twine, but something to sit on. I'm not gonna sit on it too long. Everything's kind of damp. Uh, once I fire up the stove, everything will hopefully dry out in here. There's a trouble some spot. <laughs> I just got multiple beers up here. <laughs> oh man. What a mess. I'm definitely going to pack my bag this uh, once I head out in the morning with all the crap and get it out of here. Oh. 
Oh, come on. I got the tiniest bit to do this. Snake town. I should put my hands around this warm right now. I was thinking about firing it up early. Uh, it's about four o'clock now. Don't want to do it yet. I think maybe about five or six or something. Probably be a good time. That'd be enough lumber to get me through the night. So. Until then, it's going to be my light and my hand warmer. Two for one. Seven bucks available at Walmart. Ah! Alright. I don't know what the heck's going on with the lantern. I, I trimmed it completely off. Fired it up. Put fuel in it. It's just not wanting to stay lit. Um... So what I'm going to do, I'm going to fire this up and uh, use a couple of those, get everything real hot, and then I can gather some wood from outside that's wet. I mean, it'll smoke a little bit, but it'll all go out. Um, it'll eventually burn. getting too chilly. Make it the time to fire it up. Fire it up and figure it out. Actually, I think I'm going to grab a piece of that fat wood just for insurance purposes. <sighs> Things holding up pretty good with just a little bit of lumber I put in there. Some of the wet stuff, not too shabby. Let's see what we got on this riddle. These one, this is a tough six pack to solve here. No pea crown. Let's see. No peak crown. No. Stop peak. Ah, oh, got it, got it. Stop peaking. I was gonna quit looking at my stuff. We're playing Uno, man. I'm trying to get the W here. Oh, I got I got one. If it's perfect on the end of that log. Nice. I should fill all these. <laughs> That's cool. It fits right on the end of that stick. Now I'm just hanging out. Temp temperature has definitely dropped. I can't get this damn lantern to go. I keep cutting it flush and it's completely full. I just, I don't know. I guess I'm not lan lantern savvy. Whatever. Punt it into the creek. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, probably after this one. It's almost five o'clock. Um, I don't know if I should start feeding that this lumber yet or not. We'll see. I actually could break those in half and break them down and make it last a little bit longer. That's what I can do to whip dinner up here shortly. Gonna be good. I'm freaking hungry. So yeah, that's what we're doing. Cheers.
least I don't have to film with that damn GoPro the whole time. That thing sucks. Can't stand that thing. And it's good for waterproof crap, but my buddy said uh, it's probably gonna be dark by the time he gets down here. But he's thinking about kayaking or paddle boarding down here. Keep in mind, it's like 39 degrees outside. <laughs> he said he's got waders and a poncho. What if you fall in? <laughs> Whatever. We'll see what happens. I ain't the one in the water. I'll throw him a stick. Alright. I'm going to get dinner prepped up and ready to rock. Got my foil. Made it big enough so I could turn it into my turtle dove. Or McGee swan or whatever the heck I call it. This over here. Uh, we got pepper, onion. Um, what did I say? Pepper, onion, potato, mushrooms, and that's some steak. I'm gonna smother it with that Creole seasoning blend that I got. Um, what else is in that? It's got the Creole, salt, pepper, Lowry's, a little bit of Montreal steak seasoning, onion powder, garlic powder, all mixed together. And I tell you what, I'm okay, a big fan of that Creole. It's pretty good when you eat it and you don't sniff in the fumes of it or the dust debris when I'm trying to kill you. <laughs> I'm sure you guys probably aren't going to want to sit here and watch me tinker with this. So I'm going to chop it all up. I'll bring it back when I get it all chopped up. So you can see all the yummy goodness about to go down my pie hole. Just kidding, sneak peek. I think I did this last time and didn't even have enough foil. It wasn't quite big enough. Barely fit all my, my yummy goodness in there. Little onion. There we go. Just let the dirt from your hand season it a little bit. That's natural. Man seasoning right there. <laughs> or just nasty. Wash your hands. Let's dump our mushrooms on here. More the merrier. Look at that pile of hungriness. Alright. Steak time. Throw that up top. Pile her on like so. Heck yeah. I'm gonna throw a half stick of butter up there. Uh, she'll melt and run down over it all. Beautiful. Something like so. And the final touches. A lot. I said I was going to do a lot, and I meant it. Alright, let's see if we can wrap this thing up, or at least get it close to a somewhat wrappable. This ain't going to be a McGee Swan. This is going to be a. This thing's pretty big. <laughs> oh, man, that's a lot of cooking food. It's not a McGee. What are we going to name this one? This one's going to be a, a fat dove. <laughs> I don't know. Just making it up, guys. See what happens. At least that's all prepped now. And uh, throw her on top of that bad boy here after a bit. Time to throw the big fat end up there. Let's hope it doesn't. I almost want to put that pan up there first. So I hope this doesn't burn to it. That's sizzling the crap out of it already. Yeah, I think I'm going to set it on the pan first. Just to... Why not? Oh, it's going to be a real... 
humdinger of a situation in there. Yeah. Go for gold, see what happens. Hope I don't lose my meal. I got backup ramen just in case, but hopefully that butter melts pretty fast and gets down there. I should have put the butter down first, but see what happens. Listen to that bad boy sizzle. Nah, I'm not. Smells good. I found another troublesome area here. It keeps dripping. I don't know if it's, it's actually. Oh, there it goes. It's about to drip. It's piling up. It's slowly coming in from the top. I. It's actually dripping down off the tarp, as you can see, and then landing here and then dripping. And that's just about right at the edge. No, it's not. It's running down from probably the heated, uh, probably from the heat thawing out, whatever, because that's under the other tarp. Hmm. Trial and error. So far, I thought there was another spot that I seen. I must be seen one more somewhere. It was coming down there, yep. Yeah, that's wet. And that's how all that got soaked. But we covered that and so far I don't see any drippage and it's even starting to dry a little bit. So see what happens. Should be alright through the night. I am gonna throw that uh poncho tarp over the top just for insurance. So I'll wake up in a puddle of mud. No. Yeah, whatever. Okay, that's all. I think the butter's doing its job down there. It all melted. That's good. That was one of my big concerns. Because last time I did that, threw it right on the fire, forgot the butter, and just kind of annihilated the whole bottom. I mean, I ate it. Because I was hungry, because that's what I brought. <laughs> but if I don't have to eat charcoal biscuits, then rather not. I'll tell you what, if this if this camera could pick up smell, my goodness, that smells good. <laughs> oh man, you guys can hear the rain now. It's coming down pretty good. So. Coming out pretty good. I don't know what else to say. Just giving you a little update here. Food's cooking. I guess my buddy's driving. He still don't know if he uh, jumping in the creek or what. Dude's a wild man. It's Barnabas, by the way. You guys remember him? Pretty sure. But uh, smells good. God, that that freaking stove. It's toasty in here. Not complaining though, I'd rather be hot than cold any day. So, about that. <laughs> good beer, good food, man. Good times. Thanks for coming along, guys. Just want to give a shout out to everybody out there who watches my channel. And, uh, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Terrible impression, man. What name Elvis? That was like a broken pelvis. I don't know if you guys can hear that over the car noise. Then how out there? Hear that highway really like crazy? It's getting down to. I mean, it's a busy season, holidays, everybody's traveling. It's usually not that much traffic this time. Yeah, there's an owl out there. Ooh. Alright, I think it's time to pull this thing off. It's starting to stick a little bit at the bottom. Of course, I didn't bring no gloves. Why? Because I forgot. I was in a hurry, as always, and 
I beat feet. Ah! Jeez, surprised I still got thumbs over there. It's quite warm. Let's check this out. Oh yeah. Perfect. Perfectly steamed. Not burnt to a crisp. Let's dive into it. No matter what, if anybody that has pets, long-haired animals, no matter what, you always bring that dog hair, or cat hair, or something with you, and wherever you go. Almost every piece of gear I got got a little bit of the puppies. The reason why I don't bring them here is because there's a animal shelter close to here. And I don't want somebody somehow, like if they spot us, calling in and then them coming back here. Because Iowa does have a leash law. Pets are supposed to be on a leash. Gosh, this looks good. What kind of scoop was that? Give me some of these mushrooms, man. Buddy said he was dropping in up above. There's some rapids. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Freaking dark, man. He's he's a goofball. Hopefully he doesn't show up while I'm eating, cause I'll let him go by. And keep eating and then find him later. No, I'm just kidding. All right. That's really good. Oh. Oh, actually, I better close that. You know, that's even enough. I'll probably give some to my buddy because he said he had some ramen. I ain't going to make him cook up no ramen. Um, I'm gonna, I like to share. You know, we can all eat well in the sticks. If I got it, we got it. That is freaking good, man. The, the more that I go um, coming along in these videos, cooking and stuff outdoors, getting better. Because before I used to just bring like a, a bars, like a cliff bars and all that crap, and just it, kind of, it was miserable, you know. And the better you get, you're never gonna learn if you don't try. So you just wing ding, check and wang things. learn as you go and it pays off this beats the hell out of a cliff bar pretty good not too shabby I was gonna say you're only miserable if you make it miserable I was taking back on the ten dollar challenge, the cold, cold one. You know, I kind, I, I should have done like a Dakota fire pit, and uh, like dug in the sand, and made the night a lot more comfortable. Like, vent the uh, exhaust from the fire pit underneath the shelter and out uh, the other end of the shelter, and the heat from that uh, going through would have warmed the shelter up. It's funny how you think of what you should have done after you've already done it. But you live and you learn. And it is what it is. Bon appetit! I'm going to eat. Well, dinner? Oh man, that was prime pickings. My buddy said he's on the water. <laughs> so, uh... I told him to let me know when he gets to the bridge ahead and I'll come down there and flag him in. <laughs> Crazy guy. He's a good buddy though. He's the only one that really adventures with me. I mean, there's others that go 
but don't consistently adventure. Even not with me, he's always on his own adventures, which is awesome. So that's cool. We'll go flag him in here in a little bit. We'll have to take a... It's kind of died down. Might be able to take this camera out there. I don't really... Actually, we are going to take the GoPro down there just in case we slip and fall. I don't want to ruin that cami. Yep. So I'm just sitting back enjoying the old Mickeys. Enjoying some warmth with a full belly. Parts might be smelly. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> he said he's en route. He's gonna be down here. Gotta go flag him in. Didn't bring my hood, I only got my coat. And I didn't. I'm gonna bust my butt down this muddy slope. Oh my gosh, I'm sliding, I'm sliding. Oh. This dude's got me out here in the frickin'. This is all washed out. Well, this is the deer trail. The deer have been coming right here. What a heck of an incline. This ought to be fun. I'm gonna fall. Oh, whoa, I just slid all the way down here. Oh, this is gonna be his best bet. Yep, here he comes. <laughs> he got his... <laughs> He's got his oars all lit up. This guy. Yeah! <laughs> Silly son of a gun. Look at him. <laughs> oh, what an animal. How are we going to get him up here? This is going to be our best bet with this tree right here. Something to grab onto. Top of the morning to you. I suppose. How was the rapids? Dude, so scary. <laughs> it's like so loud. Just like you only see like a couple feet around you. I mean, like if you didn't know what the rapids were, they'd be super, super scary. I'm gonna try to pull you up here. <sighs> That's probably your best bet. There should be a log under your left foot too. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Nice. That wasn't too shabby. <laughs> What's on your chest? <laughs> You even got a light going in your bag, just in case you lost it. Get some nice tapestry, bro. <laughs> Galaxy print. <laughs> Ooh, you got some Mickey's. There's one dude, still in there. I'm telling you, I'm about to start. This is still hot. Kayaking too. at night, dude. Was it neat? Dude, it was so like exhilarating because it's just like <laughs> couldn't see. I'm just like, oh come on, go oh, to the left. Yeah, this is still hot. Dude, it was freaking Russian. It was super Russian. Yeah, there's a bunch of like stuff down there. Open your dreams or something like that. I don't know. Figure it out. Okay. This one <laughs> is ridiculous. Get my face out of there, look on. You Drive me C, Melting Ice Y. I've had this one before and still have yet to figure it out. You guys got an idea? It's a U, a golf ball, on a T, pointing at me, C, Ice Cube Y. 
I don't know. Sorry, I can't hold still. I got palsy. No, I'm just kidding. Nothing against anybody that's got palsy, just in case. What about this one? It says, don't be a... Back to back. This is the one he had just opened. Don't be... Double T-ball. I don't know. Two riddles to blow your mind. Give it some time. Figure it out. Oh, my buddy took off. I was helping him get his kayak to the to the road. Got a stick to the eyeball. <laughs> yeah, it's a wee bit red. Uh, it went under my eyelid. I felt it lift my eyelid up. But it seemed to be all right. It's just a little irritated. I'll be all right come morning. That's what the old lady's old man used to say. Be all right come morning. Don't be a sissy. Take a little bark to the face. <laughs> oh man, that freaking hurt. Nothing to cry about. Don't be a wussy. Anyway, just hanging out now. <sighs> Seeing what the night brings. Everything is real quiet now. The traffic is completely calmed down. It's about 10, 10.30. I got can't or uh, the bed all set up now, so we'll just sit back, hang out, uh, stoke the fire a little bit, and see what happens. Oh, man, my eyes! God, my eyes look ridiculous. If I hang it one way, it looks like hey, man. Whatever, go to bed. It's time to go night night, guys. See you in the morning. Well, morning. We actually got to stay past the rise. Stove stayed good all night. Good thing I came and prepped it for the silver nigger. Didn't have to work too much, just look around, drink brewskis, ate some good dang food. That's what life's about, man. Good times, good brews, good foods. And of course, family. That you like. I am almost out of water, though. My breakfast was supposed to be oatmeal. I don't think I have enough water. I got a little bit. I'm more thirsty than I am hungry. That's my own fault. That's from the old brewskis. Oh. I think it's time to get up. <sighs> Gather my thoughts and my gear. And go try to ride a deer. Why do you do this to me, beer? <laughs> Just kidding, I feel alright. I'm alright. Or am I? Samurai sausage. I forgot I brought a Nature Valley Crunch Bar though. There's breakfast. I'm just gathering up my crap. I'm getting ready to beat feet. Not gonna stick around and play dominoes or nothing. Ain't got that kind of time today. So, uh. Chewing on rocks and then, uh. Gathering gear. Got a wee bit of a breeze today. How lovely. Get in there. 
<clears throat> this freaking thing, man. I didn't even bring the hatchet or anything this time. Keep you posted on the updates with this thing, though. It's gonna be something one day. The little spatula that could, man. About ready to pack up and head out of here. Hot diggity dog. Whoa! The wind almost knocked you guys over there. It's just sitting on the little plastic piece of the door. I think I turned around, man. Perfect timing. Yeah. Backpack's always so much lighter without the brew. Oh, let's get out of here and shut this dang door. Well, guys, you know the drill. This is it. Taking off forever. Never gonna see me again. Quitting YouTube, saying, just kidding. Yeah. It's been fun. Had a good time. Said a lot of good rhymes. Off into space we go. See you in the final frontier. You guys have a great day. Never gonna learn if you don't try. Make every day great and born earth. And women say it hurts to give birth. Bye. -bye.